What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. And so to pick up where we left off, we have destroyed the bulk of the Swiss forces um, outside of the city and now our fresh force under Finn Pyle has now pushed forward to attack the city itself. And as you can see, most of the forces there are already depleted from the previous engagement. So it should be fairly simple to march in and take the city. So let's attack. And importantly, this does open up a uh, northern route to Milan, which is another French-held city, which we can then push on and take. And that also means that our army that has marched through um, past Innsbruck can actually go east and secure Venice, uh, which is also under French control, and take it before any of our potential adversaries do. Right, okay, so... Okay, <clears throat> so it looks like our uh, foot artillery are not going to be super important. Let's make a Finnish front line. Put our Indelta on the right flank. Our guards and light infantry on the left against convention. Split the cavalry up to make sure we've got two a light and a heavy on each flank. Fairly standard formation now at this point, but I think starting to get the hang of it. Play our howitzers to follow up the main line. Outflanking Quiet, you. So let's get our troops advancing up. It's possible that we may see some skirmish units. Ooh, did I make you guys run? No, walk. And you guys advance. Cavalry push up. How it's push up. How it's push up. My guns. Then more, more for emergencies. Some volun uh, voluntario de Juida de Rodrigo. Interesting, it's a Portuguese fort, but there we go. The general's bodyguard. Well, the general unit is over here, but it's just another regiment of horse unit. If they decide to make, well, if they decide to suicide charge me, then they're very much welcome. He's got my grenadiers on this flank. Third and the fourth grenadiers plus the fourth light foot. You do have to wonder if the uh, Napoleon Total War Three mod. Well, if the AI is aware of the impacts of the implications of the mod, um, because they're running from quite a significant ways away with that cavalry, such that their men are going to be a bit knackered by the time they get into action with us. So I'm just going to walk my cavalry into the way until we get pretty close. Pursue with my lights to make sure they don't get away. And my finished front line continue to advance up the field. Hello, we've got some infantry exposed on the right. Let's push my infantry up like so. Just assume we don't have to worry about it yet. Push my howitzers up. Push my guns up. Withdraw my cavalry there. Push my cavalry on the left. The horse guards are likely not going to be needed. To be honest, they probably weren't needed over here, but... Yeah. Local partisan unit. Unit of militia. It's a garrison unit that's being deployed. A couple of units out on the flank over here. So much so you guys might actually advance up to here. Let's get our Finnish troops. Just maintain the coherency of the line for now. One of my howitzers is pushing over to the right to support. So my cavalry is still active, so fortunately haven't been too badly uh, attrited from that. Both my cavalry units here are still in good shape. So if these militia units continue to push towards my cavalry, we will wipe them out. Enemy Jaegers are pushing up on the flank. 
good looking units but I'm afraid they will not necessarily make too much of an impact considering the amount of firepower that's going to be arrayed against them. New units might actually be more specifically diverted to face off against those forces. Let's begin a bit of a redeployment. I still think the bulk of the enemy army is going to be in this corner. Let's run up this flank here so you men can start to engage the partisans. Six men fell with the first volley. my heavy cavalry in because they're getting attacked. Push my lights up as well. So you're going to take a few losses from that engagement but that's okay. Bring my light horse in to hit the flank of the 8th regiment. Make them run. And let's preemptively redeploy against the 7th. Because when my light cavalry over here get into the mix, they're going to be able to break the partisans. Although my, my heavy cavalry have upended the formation somewhat. But still, their morale was poor enough. They must fall. There we go. There's the core of the Italian position. Get my lights, chase down the regiment of horse. That is their general. Get my... <laughs> their general's units fell, fallen immediately. So withdraw my cavalry on the left. You chase down the militia because they're routing behind our line. So these units push up right into the face of that square. My whole line advance. Howitzers have opened fire. My horse guards can pursue the 5th Regiment of Militia in the, in the rear, because it looks like well, my heavy cavalry will knock out that militia unit. Keep my cavalry on the left a bit more mobile. I might have a bayonet charge on our hands. Let's just run my Indelta infantry up. So they can engage in point blank range. My general over towards here. Now they've been repulsed by our musketry. Keep pushing up around this unit here. You've made that unit br uh, shatter so my light cavalry can trot up the flank. Light horse hit the partisans, horse guards hit that unit of partisans and we can start to fold the left flank in. There go the partisans. Then my infantry can begin to block off the 3rd Regiment from being able to engage my cavalry so easily. Keep killing the garrison unit till they've routed and then actually bring my light cavalry across to attack the guns to the rear. Run my heavy cavalry on into the Jaeger riflemen. Right, they did not appreciate such a tactical move. I want my heavy cavalry up to attack the 3rd Regiment. The 7th Regiment are particularly vulnerable to the massed musketry on the right flank. Push my Light Dragoons up. Okay, I might actually get my Light Dragoon... Okay, these guys can threaten the artillery. These chaps can threaten this militia unit. The infantry have fallen, so you men advance. Do something like this. Get 
my heavies to advance. Ah, my cavalrymen, my light cavalry go engage. The gunners push my heavies up to hit the 12th regiment of foot. Swiss line. The actual battlefield itself is actually looking uh, pretty desolate for the Swiss troops. See them advance on attack their gunners, although it looks like their gunners don't really want to engage. There goes the 3rd Regiment. And the 6th will get a volley from my 46th. That they've broken. My heavies are attacking the 12th. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be yours. My cavalry is having a great time. How it's a fire which caused them to retreat. And then these two units can afford to bayonet charge the Jaeger riflemen while my light cavalry knock out the horse artillery. I mean, we don't have to chase everyone down. I mean, it would be nice for a bit of experience, but fundamentally. This army has plenty of battles left to fight. The cavalry have gained some good experience. There we go. So Luzerne has been taken and a route to threaten Milan from the north has been opened up. We're going to occupy the city peacefully. Oh, noise. So let's repair these government buildings. I'm expecting some resistance to our occupation, so we might exempt them from tax to ease that transition. This force that's raided the logging camp, first of all we can fix the logging camp, and then Habal the Bengston. This force can advance towards Milan from the north. So you, Anders Skoldebrand, you can advance towards Venice. Because we've got Russian army that would be nice to out flank. We're pushing on to onto Torino. Once you guys have replenished, you can push on towards Milan, which is a, a large French contingent there. Maybe even both of these armies might get involved. But this force that's coming back to Toulouse to try and outflank, well, to outmarch a, a Spanish army here, although to be honest they will probably beat us to Toulouse if they do, in which case we will just siege them. You men are replenishing, ready for your advances into Spanish territory. So what the, these two armies will do is try and cover each other as one advances onto Madrid, and the other will be ready to try and engage the other Spanish army in the theatre. Uh, but apart from that, everything's going okay. Let's check out our recruitment. So you're going to join Delta De Detlof Langre. So you men are short three infantry. Are you recruiting them? You are. You men join Detlof, you men get back to Finland. So you're recruiting a unit of guns, one unit of howitzers and a unit of cuirassiers. And you can afford to recruit two dragoons and a light dragoon unit. You can afford to recruit two more units of infantry and let's get a unit of lifeguard jäger. She's actually just got two lifeguard Jaeger. There we go. One more turn's worth of recruitment here. We're going to send them. We're going to recruit them and send them across to Finland. So you are advancing to try and cover the front. So you are going to go here instead. You're going to get Stuttgart because you've pushed past and you can't get. Innsbruck, so you may as well just let them let the Prussians take Innsbruck to try and cut off cut them off from advancing too far into northern Italy would be a good win there. Newman push up to Kassel. Because I want to have a force here to jump on Innsbruck, a force to jump on Munich, and then we're gonna to want to be able to jump on Schwerin and secure these bridges across this river when we eventually fight Prussia. But I'm hoping I can fortify, stay within budget, and uh, conquer Britain before I have to worry about that. So in terms of tech, 
nothing to worry about immediately. It's a bit of a bummer that I can't get the next level road upgrades. Oh, Saxon. Wait a minute. Did you guys. Have you guys then since rebelled? Maybe you did. Let's begin trading with you. Good stuff. Okay. Let's hit N10 and let's see how the AI responds to our moves. Oh, they're going to push on towards Marseille and interfere with our plans. This is part of the issue about having recruitment limited to mainland Sweden, is that I can't actually get troops over there. I have to just keep recruiting small columns and use them as frontline garrison troops. Unless I say I rebalance my recruitment and make Sweden my army recruiting town, if that makes sense, and make Finland a garrison recruiting town. But we aren't going to break off the attack of the attack against uh, Torino for that force, I don't think. Maybe that force I sent up north can go south instead. The one that's in Castle right now. Yeah, Prussia's bring a lot of firepower to bear. This will only get worse as France is rolled back. Yeah, Prussia's taken Innsbruck. It would be great if the Allies decided to declare war on each other after France's defeat. Suddenly, Austria's desire to retake their capital city just becomes so strong that they have to give it a go. Okay, Bordeaux. Don't. We're not, well, we're not going to. This is a garrison that's being recruited, so we're going to cancel their surrender, auto resolve, cause as much damage as we can. So they've taken Bordeaux and they're going to push through the centre, so this is exactly what I mean when I said do I push before I've covered the centre or don't I? And the answer is yes. So you meant push and hit Mr. Vieira's force. I mean should probably fight that ourselves less auto resolve screw us and hopefully we actually drive this spanish army west over towards bordeaux and then we can continue to chase them so i don't think they're going well i think bordeaux no bordeaux is actually okay with us i think in terms of our order problems so we're going to force a crossing of the river so deploy my sixes and my twelves as far up as they can go with my howitzers so, let's create a block of troops that are going to force their way over at the ford, and then a com another contingent that's going to cross over the river. Actually, put the bulk of my cavalry at the ford, because it's the easier path. My general is going to go to the ford itself. Artillery engage, fire at will. Infantry... I mean, if they're going to try and force, try and charge, charge me, they are very much welcome. Which it looks like that's what they are going to do. So I set my troops to run. They're not going to like it. I know the horse guards are coming in, but all of my guys can form into defensive positions if they need to. Which they will, but whatever. So my six is engaging. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be Everyone yours. barrage, because the enemy is clustered together. Get the max try and do the maximum amount of damage as we can against a massed enemy. See, all the troops in this contingent, for less the cavalry unit I've selected. Obviously, they are slowing each other down. Halt, fire at will, off. Cavalry, cease your push. Send forward an infantry unit. 
with fire at will on who are going to form a breakwater square there we go our artillery is doing a number on them now Our crossing over the bridge is going successfully. Form a breakwater square. Come on, you men. Retreat. They're only shaken. You fire at will on. See if you can pick off a few of them. Should maybe I should have sent my cavalry across the bridge, across the uh, r the, br the uh, river first. I mean, let's. Okay, if they want to try and do a crossing themselves, they're welcome to. We'll hold, hold the river. And we'll cross the bridge. Cavalry is now making its way across. You're getting attacked by oh, it's it's an enemy hot cavalry man, but not a cavalry unit. Okay, well if they want to attack and cross the uh, cross the river themselves, then they are welcome to do so. My cavalry is now making their way across. There's a cavalry de linea coming in. Who look pretty spectacular. Fifth light horse. I think it's the horse guards that are charging. It is indeed. To so keep these men from forming square just yet because they can engage the enemy with musketry and with general staff will help provide a moral component. The cavalry's making it across but it's probably not going to be in time. If you men could reform your square that'd be great. Uh, you guys, do, I don't know why you can't form square. Is there like a cavalryman that's bumped it? Oh, there's a horse dismounted rider that's bumped into them, which means they can't form square. But I think that square is going to be enough for the both of them. There we go. My force that's going to outflank them over the bridge has made it across. It's not as if it was against significant enemy resistance. So here comes the general staff. You thought you were going to get the jump on us, didn't you? Well, you thought wrong, senor. This Bjornborg infantry is going to hold you off. And actually, they've stopped giving them infantry designations now for the most part. Cavalry is still making their way across. make them advance and make the central units run to catch up. The general staff is bugged seemingly when it's trying to charge. I mean I see the particular guy I want to shoot but I can't. Okay and it looks like they are so okay well if that's, that's how they feel. I felt foot Jaeger pivot them along like so. You men carry on ready to face off against the 34th Regiment in case they come this way. Well, there goes the general staff. Get the six pounders to engage that unit. Get my 12s to engage the fifth light horse. Get my howitzers to attack the 34th. If they're even in range.
Yeah, they can attack the 11th, I think. They attack the general ends, I think, for the most part. I mean, if they charge in, then they're welcome to. My light infantry can form squares, they're not afraid. My light infantry should start to engage their gunners. I think you, in the central square, could form line. Here they come. The fifth light horse. So drop the tenth regiment into square. That should, that will clip this cavalry unit, and they will turn in to try and attack the tenth regiment. Well, no, they won't, because they will fall back in ignominy. There you go, my cavalry have crossed the bridge. Demon form line. First regiment of militia. Make ready and engage the guns. If it was a, if we were time sensitive, I could just um, bayonet charge the guns and send them and uh, send my infantry across. I might realistically that's what I might do give my men orders to cross give my militia orders to charge my howitzers you're, you're already targeting get my militia to engage oh they blasted the 11th these men are very tired but they are going to hit the 11th cavalry de linea have been pushed back well here comes the, the mass of enemy troops. I don't think they're going the to... Are a I know they're fatigued. That's why I gave them a job, a fairly benign job of attack the gunners. This unit, too much, these guys can all walk just to give themselves a bit of a break. Enemy are trying to cross. So let's start to provide a bit more of a, an actual force to engage the men trying to cross than what we're actually doing. Might give them a bit of respite than they ordinarily might not get, but or that they shouldn't get. But to be honest, I've got cavalry behind. New men close up. As they're in position, this is, means much, many, many more. Yeah, that means many, many more muskets being fired upon the enemy. Yeah, so they're trying to engage. I don't think they're going to last too long compared to the musketry that's being fired at them. We've got the 7th Regiment of Horse charging us, but my Horse Guards are in really good condition. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Ah, he's killed trying to cross the ford. Bring my Horse Guards in. Yeah. They're massing. Those guys look great. Make sure, make sure we charge their cavalry, not vice versa. Okay, my artillery ceasefire. Let's get my infantry to continue up towards the front. Everyone's going to be engaging the second foot guards. They are broken. Now it's all down to the night light foot. Who are taking casualties. Oh, their artillery unit has come back. So you men push forward and attack the artillery.
I don't think the ninth regiment are going to stay around, stick around for very long either. They're losing men quite rapidly. There we go. So my cavalry's chased off the guns again, the gunners again. 15th horse guards are still running around loose, they've only got 40 men remaining. My 12 pounders, to be honest, my howitzers just cease fire. My foot artillery, sorry, just cease fire. Enemy have broken, trying to cross the river. I mean, they didn't have to. We were going to cross, but they decided they were going to attack us with cavalry first. It looks like they can't really make up their minds what they want to do. But there are many, many dead Spaniards here in the river. And not very many dead Swedes. Yeah, my Ronish unit's concerned because they're exhausted and that's okay. Foot Jaeger beginning to, to beginning to engage at maximum range. To be honest, let's bring my horse guards to bear because ultimately these units here could fall to a concerted cavalry charge. Actually, let's begin. Let's go back to the way things were. try force a crossing here to keep their infantry pinned so they can't afford to abandon their crossing. Push up my skirmishers. Oh no, my militia are not happy about their, about their state. Send my cavalry to attack their general staff. Bjornborg can engage the volunteers. Skirmishers are going to start to get involved, hitting them on the flank. The general staff has been routed, so you men chase or hit the foot guards who are wavering immediately and have now broken. And the cavalry back here have done almost nothing. Well, almost nothing. They have done nothing. Push on into the grenadiers. We're not going to be happy about being in the firing line. Just push my line up like that. The Ninth Grenadiers have been broken. The cavalry can feed on the the remnants of the the Grenadiers, while my infantry chews apart the. Uh, the 34th. Because ultimately there's not a lot else that, that can happen. All the Spaniards are routing. All that's left is for the 34th to route. And they most definitely will route in not very long. Let's get my Falt Jaeger pushed up. I might just speed this bit up because all it's going to be is bit of delightful chipping away of the enemy force. We're not going to be pursuing them. I felt Jaeger in position, giving them a delightful volley. And there go the 34th. And they are going to route through my felt Jaeger. So if I carried on, we could have got some... Ah, oh, I can see. In classic Napoleon Total War 3 style. The ninth light foot. Ligerios Ligero de Valencia have covered, recovered, but then they have immediately broken from the impact of my heavy cavalry. So that unit's getting pounded, but there we go. Awesome. So one of the spurs of the Spanish advance have been blunted, and they have fallen. Oh, nuts. I was hoping they go back to Bordeaux. You have to stay where you are. This force up here at Castle with your six pounders. Let's get you down towards Marseille. Can upgrade the logging camp. 
You're in better condition than this force, so Finn Pyle can push out of Luzerne and get ready to put Milan under threat. You are not able to put Venice under threat this turn, but next turn you will, or at the very least under siege. Force them to attack us, Dominique Van Damme. Let's cancel building... Oh, noise, come on. Let's cancel building that dry dock, because they're going to get raided by the French. And let's move my ships over to Tarragona. Okay, so now, because the French, the Spanish have pushed... I was going to say we have to assume they have to stay there. Can Mr. Bank Bankstrom leave Pamplona? Minus two. Kind of, not really. To be honest, you can probably leave a skeleton force at Pamplona just to dissuade these chaps from doing anything. New men. Got to Bordeaux. Put them under siege. Just put them under siege. No one, you don't have anyone to chase down that force. My, oh, my cavalry can get them though. Pursue and destroy. Ah, so close. Okay, you may get back to Toulouse. One thing we are capable of doing is we're going to siege Torino. Put the enemy under. What? What? So I'm not going to water resolve because we will get a lot of too much attrition, so we're going to fight it. Because I can knock out one Spanish infantry army much more efficiently than the AI, who will probably, you know, that one militia unit will cause me 600 casualties or whatever, when it's completely unavoid uh, unnecessary, I should say. I was supposed to say unavoidable, it's not unavoidable, because you can't uh, do anything about an ambush. Go on, so where are you at then? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Go on, cavalry. You'll figure this out. So they can afford to run. Because there are only, only volunteers. They're a regiment of foot, but they're voluntarios. So they are not proper infantry. And I can send four cavalry units in to try to take them out. And it looks like we are going to hit them before they form... Before they get a chance to fire off a uh, volley. As more cavalry gets into the mix, we've lost a hussar. <laughs> yeah, they're immediately. They're just going down. So we are going to lose the odd cavalryman, as you would expect, but fundamentally they're going to lose a lot more men much quicker than I am. And could you imagine if we were to resolve this, it would have resulted in a multi multi hundred casualty defeat for my forces right on the eve of trying to attack a major French city yeah don't have to do anything clever there they go we're not going to chase them down we're just going to do as much damage as we can before the end menu shows up Stupid, stupid Spaniards. So then we're going to put Torino under siege because I want to try and deplete their force. Just a little bit. Just bottle them up. Ah, oh, that damn weird sound thing. Okay, so you're on the way to Italy. Next turn you'll be ready to siege Milan. To be honest, I don't know where Napoleon is. Could be. In Corsica. So can you actually advance out of Catalonia? You can. So you can actually push up and hit Mr. Alvarez with just a quick auto resolve. Too bad you're just over the board now, so you're going to lose a turn of attrition, a turn of replenishment. But at least it means that we've got one force that could try and hit any of these Spanish armies that head our way. Although it looks like there's only... Well, one's garrisoning Gibraltar, one's garrisoning Madrid. Okay, so yeah, we lost Aquitaine temporarily. Oh, this is the one that's garrisoning... The force that's garrisoning Madrid. 
you're going to do some raiding, but hopefully you're not going to fancy going after Marseille. We'll get a reasonable garrison there, and you're not probably strong enough. Okay, let's get my spy out of Milan, because that's no longer going to be required. Get my spy... To be honest, they might stay in Munich, actually. To maintain visibility, you're going to garrison Stuttgart. Then we've got a full army here, and to be honest, we're not going to use our, our ships to shuttle them around. They can just run. So you're going to want to... Garrison Hanover for now. Although you might actually want to go... No, actually, you're okay there. And you men take position in the city. You're recruiting seven units, which will nearly be enough. Let's get a Footjäger and a... F oh, actually, have we got skirmishes? Yeah, we've got two Footjäger, actually. So you can recruit two more units. Let's just get two units of Bjornborg. So I, I think I like this idea of using Finland to recruit garrisons. So get these guys an artillery piece, and then they'll set, these guys will be deployed as a garrison unit somewhere behind the lines rather than supporting the main drive. Okay, so let's hit N10. Ooh, so the Spanish sallied out from Venice. Hey, you got Napoleon as a uh, as a uh, reinforcement. Yeah, cool. That means that you're you're, you're going to see the death of most of your heavy cavalry first. Let's do it because we're defending. Well, we're defending, but I'm still going to move up. Otherwise, the battle will take forever. Um, but I am going to push up and then try and get my artillery into the battle line. Especially with reasonable terrain like this. Significant contingent of my forces militia. So let's get my six pounders in the centre. Put four units of infantry there. Actually, where can I, can I put my 12 somewhere useful? Here would be good, actually. So, one flank company. Just want to try and absorb my militia into a more into a stronger unit. Okay, put a guard unit and a Varvade on the right. Guard unit and Footjäger on the left. Group my cavalry. Put my cavalry on the right flank a bit wide because Napoleon will be coming in from somewhere. Put my artillery to the rear. Try and get my guns to the head of the tree line. Cavalry's immediately charging. Hopefully they hold off on charging completely until my artillery's in a better position. Mr. Skoldebrand, keep him out on the high ground to the right. Oh, okay, that's horsemen lost from artillery fire. Okay, they're running, so we want to run as well. Okay, my 12s do counter battery fire. You can't do that. You can do them. Hit them, though. Horse guards can be absorbed by the... If they push out too much, we can hit them with our own cavalry. Granted, these are only SRs and light dragoons. But we can do it. So the horse guards, because if they're not careful, they just hit my infantry squares and that'll be the end of them. See a cavalry charge. The skirmishers are going to act as bait. Informal bait.
transform those two units into squares. So they're going to be hitting two square units. Deploy my cavalry to try and counter charge. Hopefully the Gros Frere try and commit to one of the charges. How it says unlimber. You're not hopefully squares knock out both these cavalry units because you guys need to withdraw. Come on, Gros Frere. Bring my light horse up. Skirmishes are inside. My delta are getting hit. Where's my general? Get him up front. Get my cavalry around the flank. The horse guards. Okay, pivot you guys to try and engage the horse guards in the flank. You men counter bayonet charge the 40th because they're wavering. Gunners and limber, canister shot, cavalry. Get back to the cover Our of the squares. And Delta on the right are running. They tried to counter bayonet charge and that didn't work. My militia are having to hold off against some quite elite French formations. You men form square on the flank as well. Bring our cavalry in on the right flank as well. So on this flank I do really want to use my squares. French Grenadiers aren't going to die without a fight. Two cavalry charges might be enough on the right. Well, the militia's not doing so well on this flank. Okay, you guys need to charge them in the flank. We need to get my cavalry over here rapidly. So you men hit the first light foot. You men might manage to make French but Grenadier feet, route. So My militia are tired from the engagement. You men get involved in this action over here. Managed to make the French route in the centre. Swing my cavalry force in. You men charge the light foot because they are also looking vulnerable. Okay, they're routing. So you men engage the light foot. You men form up and engage them musketry. Pull my cavalry back. French have countercharged. You men aren't able to do anything about it. Ooh, it's the light horse. You men are engaging the light foot fairly well. Bring you guys in to charge the cavalry here in the rear. It's a voltage company there. Okay, you can form square. Get my cavalry over into the centre. No, I've definitely clicked, given someone the wrong order. You men get over to the centre, get my cavalry over here to the centre. My gunners are engaging the enemy fairly well. Okay, these units form up. Voltageur have been knocked out. That's artillerymen coming in to attack us. It's 
So you men can get out of square, you men get out of pike block range. Okay, now cavalry continue to get to the centre. Infantry itself. Form line. Get this cavalry over here to threaten the enemy general. You men secure the flank. Get my cavalry back on the right. My light dragoon. Hey, that's Napoleon. Napoleon's about to get himself blown apart. Push up my infantry on the right, supported by this unit of his delta. My, my, my previously routed light dragoons are having a go at Napoleon. The men of fatigue, sir, are must rest away. You meant form up. Okay, so you guys barrage the light troops. You meant go in against the infantry, the linea. Before they hit the, the corner, before they hit the flank of our position. My 12s continue to engage that unit of general staff. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. So these units form up. If you can knock out Bonaparte, I mean, I know you're upset, but so are they. Even if you could just make him rout. Let's bring you guys across to attack the 38th. Where's Mr. Skaldebrand? Okay, my cavalry's managed to make the 38th route. Recall the cavalry. Push my cavalry up the flank. Get you men to threaten the enemy artillery. Get you men to form a new front line there. Okay, the light horse are going to charge my militia in the flank. Well, they're their light horse. Excellent. I think it's Napoleon. Militia, form your pike block. My light dragoons can advance to cover. My cavalry's engaging their horse guards. Set my cavalry to attack their artillery. The cuirassiers are, are, they are unhappy from the loss of their general. The Chasseurs à pied have gone down. Militia, get out of your formation and engage the grenadiers in the flank. There we go, there go the third horse guards. Oh, the Light Dragoon, oh, the, the, those men lost, uh, didn't have the stamina. They didn't die to the spikes, which I didn't see till just now. Get my Foot Jaeger and some infantry to hit those formations. Get some infantry around the flanks here. Get my Long 12s to engage the third Light Foot that are advancing. Actually, I might recall my cavalry to try and prevent them from getting overrun. My and Delta have recovered. They're re-engaging the enemy. The light horse might even come back. Ooh. You men were lucky there. That's a bit of a weird animation. Granted, these are my skirmishers. Skirmishers are routed by a gun team, but granted they are a very elite gun team. So, get the Indelta moving. Get the infantry moving. 
Yeah, the gunners managed to make two infantry units route. It's not bad. Get you guys to pivot back. So my 12s should be, well they are, engaging that third light foot unit. Enemy gunners have actually abandoned their guns, so that's not a total loss. You're actually in the way here. Pull my line back. My foot Jaeger is still here, so it's a push them back up. General staff are still in the mix on the flank. Well, on the flank, in the centre here. Howitzers are doing good work. So these gunners, having abandoned their guns, are now going to try the infantry mission. Actually, got my howitzers to engage the light infantry too. My cavalry to advance towards the enemy general staff. Okay, you men advance up like so. You men advance like that. Get my hussars to work their way around the flank. Charge the general staff with the light horse. Granted, we're both exhausted. My sixes are going to cease fire. We are going to try and turn their flank. If the gunners want to try and engage us, they are more than welcome to. As you men can face off against the 38th Regiment. The gunners have gone back to manning their guns. You men pivot. Push up my cavalry on the right. So the general staff are losing men. Curassier came back, the foot guards came back. To be honest, lots of units came back, I just didn't really pay attention. To be honest, you guys can actually attack the guns from this direction because of the spikes. Continue to chase down the general staff. Granted, we might have knocked out Napoleon, but we that they weren't the, the end of it. You men pervert like so. Their actual general. You men push on and attack the 15th regiment. We might lose a few men to the spikes if they come back on themselves, but... The key thing is to watch the engagement, see where they go. Okay, good. Now chase them down. Okay, so now you guys can advance. Go howitzers engage the voltageur. You men continue to engage this artillery team because they are quite an experienced one. These my uh, these, my remaining cavalry just focus on killing the enemy. Their remaining forces appear to be quite upset at the turn of events. So we've got Voltageur, Conscripts, Tyrellier, Tyrellier, which is a skirmisher unit. I mean, sometimes, it's sometimes I go quiet watching this because it's this is so this is much more of a novelty to me to see rather than uh, <laughs> Empire Total War. It's quite easy to play that on autopilot for me you get such a feeling for how everything's going to work you don't ever really have to put too much thought in this but for me because this is all fairly new it's going to be 12s to engage the Voltager because the Lightfoot yeah they're now wavering 
because they're being engaged from every possible direction. And look at the field strewn with bodies from this major initial bayonet charge here. A couple of significant actions over here on the left. We have to draw in their cavalry and use our square formations. My hussars are going to hold position because they are exhausted. There we go. And my foot guards hightail it across but fundamentally my general can toot his little horn. So I think the third light foot are not going to be long for this world. I mean, part of it, part of this, I think, is just the engagement distance is quite long, or well, quite far, rather, not long. And we're not necessarily doing as much, doing the damage that we would like. Okay, you might attack the thirty-eighth because they routed towards your unit. Do some damage, kill as many as you can. This is a force that's going to have to pull back for refit, replenishment and reinforcements anyway. There we go. I mean these Volgers, the Volgers have held on quite well. They've gone down to 25% cash or 25% remaining, which is quite small. Okay, so my howitzers and my twelves can cease fire. And we're probably going to fast forward this bit because ultimately it's only the third light foot that are holding on. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> Back you go. But still, that was a smart move by the AI. I mean, it cost them most of their force. They've got 300 men remaining, but they will have a full garrison from the, uh, from the city. So it's a bit of a... I can't push on because they'll get a fresh garrison and I will have a depleted army. So I will have to pull back. So I think it, overall it was a good move. But I don't think they're going to be able to uh, replace those losses as easily as I would be able to. In the grand scheme of things. Mm, Prussia is pumping out quite a lot of troops. They've got quite a lot of territory to cover on the front line. So that's my main concern, is when I declare war, I don't want to have any gaps that are easy for the enemy to exploit. So I can't reinforce near Madrid anymore. So I will have to fall back, potentially quite far. Because that army will not have the strength to take the city. There you go. Here come the here come the Spanish. They know what's up. They know that the end of their little kingdom is nigh. So order. Yeah, our units down to half strength. I don't think that I don't think Allied territory is enough, is it? It is enough. Oh, cool. So now to retreat far. So Finn Pyle is going to put Milan under siege. Torino is still under siege. Caccio is still there. Where's my... Set you guys to try and chase after Mr. Agnew. Agnew quite... Well, quite specifically. Force here at Luzerne's replenishing. My cavalry... I'm going to knock out the French cavalry here at Bergerac. Then my cavalry going to join up with Mr. Almquist again and drive down the centre because we don't need to worry about anyone coming from the flank anymore drive down the centre to support Mr. Um, Mr. Berglund and you will in all likelihood attack Bordeaux to try and remove this thorn from our side but looking at the timer I believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for more shenanigans in Napoleon Total War 3 Cheers, everyone.